Hello students, I am back with class 4 geometry. In my previous video, I have given you ideas about the different tools that are present in your geometry box and how to use them properly and safely. Now today, our topic is basic concepts of geometry. I know children, there is a question popping up into your minds. What is geometry? all about why are we people so eager to learn about geometry so to get the answer we are going back in ancient times long long ago when people were not civilized like us they were primitive people yes they used to live in caves with the help of some natural dyes like charcoal uh, the extract of different fruits etc they used to draw pictures on the walls of their caves what did they draw they drew waves of an ocean right this is what we call curved lines in our present geometry curved lines They used to draw bow and arrow. See, this is an arrow. In present times, in our geometry, this is what we call a ray. So, unknowingly, they were unaware. But still, geometry was there in their lives. As time passed by, people... Ancient people, they learned agriculture, how to grow crops and they demarcated their agricultural lands in different shapes. Some marked their lands like this. This is what is known as triangle in geometry. Some demarcated their lands like this. This is called rectangle in geometry some demarcated their land in a square form some demarcated their land as a circle and so on so geometry was in use they were not aware but they used geometry. Now, about 300 years ago, you know, the country of Greece, in Greece, there lived a man. Rather, he was a mathematician. His name was Euclid. Now, what did he do? He compiled all these concepts and he put into a book which was known as Euclidean Geometry. So this is for the first time the word geometry came into existence. This is how geometry was discovered. Nowadays, whatever we learn is whatever given by Euclid in his book. Now, I am going to start with the basic concepts of geometry. The simplest figure in geometry is called a point. A very sharp dot. Anywhere in the space. I can put it anywhere, here, here, here or here. So a very pointed sharp dot can be called a point. So you, we use a dot to denote a point. A point can be named by capital alphabet. So, we use capital alphabets. Like 
Suppose this is point A. This is point B. This is point C. And so on. A point has no length, breadth or height. It is only a sharp dot. So it doesn't have any length, breadth or height. So it has no dimension. Now, if a point keeps on moving, if it starts moving, we don't know in which direction it is going to go, right? It is going to move. It may move in any direction, any direction. So, a point has no direction because it can travel in any direction. The most important thing is that all figures in geometry, they consist of points. All geometric figures consist of points. How? If I keep on joining some consecutive series of consecutive points if i join this it becomes a straight line so all figures the boundary lines of all figures they consist of nothing but point now we move on to our next type of figure which is another very very simple figure and it is very familiar figure that is a line. As I have already told you, when many consecutive points we join together, it forms a line. This is a curved line. Similarly, I can join this point to draw a straight line. Right? So, lines are made up of point. Points. How do we represent a line? We represent a line by putting two arrows. See these arrows? Two arrows at both the ends. Why? Because... If I want to extend these lines in the opposite directions, suppose I keep on extending them on and on and on, they will extend in both the directions, opposite directions, forever and ever and ever and ever, endlessly. So, lines extend endlessly in both directions and definitely they do not have their endless we do not know where they are going to end so they are endless they do not have any end point lines do not have any end points where they are starting from where they are going, we never know. They keep on extending forever and ever and ever. Now, lines have length but no thickness. That means no breadth. A line has a length. Remember children, they have length but we cannot measure them because how long they are going to extend, we do not know. They have a length, but that is not specific. That is why we cannot measure them. So, this is all for today. You must learn the definitions properly 
and we are going to meet in some new videos with some new concepts. Stay